like I always say, if you're down with the real shit and you're not down with the bullshit, like and subscribe. Um, I just want to touch on the whole um, recent events with uh, the Draymond Green, um, Jordan Poole incident with the Golden State Warriors. Um, you know, athletes will tell you uh, these things happen. These things happen all the damn time in practices and, and stuff, you know. Um, through all the years, I mean, going all the way back to when I was a little kid, you know, um, through the elementary years, the middle school years, high school years, uh, on to like, uh, you know, your college years, you know, um, we've always, I've seen it, I've, I've, I've experienced, I've, I've been in the midst of it. It's like, you know, it, it's um, males, just the, it, it, you know, being involved, the testosterone, the competitiveness, the desire to win, you know, uh, with true athletes and true competitors, this is very serious. You know what I'm saying? And um, when any time athletes feel like something is going on or something that, you know, uh, uh, is, is going to negate all the focus and hard work that, you know, you're trying to uh, uh, evoke, not also within yourself, but your team, you know, um, through the season with the hopes and desire of trying to get the championship and you have things and these be like little things at times, you know, that can even happen where it's not that serious, but in the, in the heat of the moment, you can get caught up where you get mad about, you know, all kind of different things, you know, uh, maybe uh, guys are not running the fucking drills and the practices, right? Like Coach saying, and so everybody's getting punished for that and have to run extra laps and, um, you know, uh, have to spend more time uh, conditioning rather than scrimmaging and running plays because this person, uh, you know, not running the drill right or executing, you know, uh, different plays that uh, we're practicing on. And you get tired of... Maybe there's one uh, particular person that keeps messing up to where you like, you know, it just might just come out like, damn, man, like, stop fucking up. Or what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Damn, you, that's fucking stupid. And then as a man, you know, he's going to respond, what the fuck you talking to? Like, fuck you, you know, whether he truthfully messed up or not, you know, to just let another person sit up here and then like, you know, insult you and disrespect you, you know, you still, as a man, you got your manhood your self-respect and your dignity. And so two guys can just wind up going back and forth because of something like that, you know, very easily uh, in, in all competitive sports, you know, um, with your teammates. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate um, what happened. But, you know, like from the uh, 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 the public view, people who not, uh, uh, don't have that real understanding of this. The way when the uh, video footage of what happened came out, when um, uh, Draymond hit Jordan Poole, the way it looked to people who don't really have that understanding of everything like I just just broke down, they just see it looks like a man who they see as being a little bit bigger than this other guy just went up and hit the smaller guy. And that's it. And that's what Fine just sees. And they're like, oh, Draymond is a bully. Draymond went up and sucker punch. And I don't know what is a sucker punch. A sucker punch is when you don't see the damn punch coming. You know what I'm saying? And a person just like try to snuff you. You know what I'm saying? Usually a lot of times when this happens, it coming, it's, it's coming from the side. You know what I'm saying? Like you just be sitting up looking one way and stuff and a guy just come around and you could just turn around into it or maybe you don't maybe you stay like this but then you might turn around into it and the dude just be like bow just like that you know and he wasn't prepared for he was ready jordan Poole was sitting there looking right at draymond green coming at him you just pushed the dude off i don't know what the fuck you know uh jordan Poole understanding is as far as like you know physical altercation fighting i don't know if, how many fights he had in his life i don't know his background as far as that concerned, but there's a little bit of common sense like, okay, between you two, I don't know about anybody else at least, you know what I'm saying? But I would say that, yo, based upon like how the mannerisms was, uh, you know, y'all going back and forth, 
You could people around on the team, trainers, other coaches. I will say, yeah, somebody should have seen something. Somebody should have seen something. Somebody should not seen something, but somebody should have been able to tell. Okay, this shit getting a little bit out of hand. This getting a little bit of hand, out of hand, y'all. Y'all, y'all calm down. Fuck this shit. Like somebody should have been like, y'all need to separate from each other for a while. That could have happened too. I'm, I'm telling you right now. While everybody is blaming Draymond, um, that's a team. And so there, and some people have raised the question, like, wonder, why didn't anybody step in and intervene? You know what I'm saying? Like, why was everybody just, how did they have that space to allow that to happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you've seen other people, like, sending off to the side and everything. Draymond had a direct path to hit pool, like, whereas I'm saying, as things were becoming intense, you know, before the hit, people should have seen, should have knew the kind of getting the wet. Now, why they didn't, I don't know. Um, like some people have said, uh, they don't know how this is going to turn out in the end because Jordan Poole could feel some kind of way because when Draymond was coming at him the way he was coming at him, you know, they say he could be like really thinking like, why didn't somebody stand up and like, if 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 the if if the uh, uh, situation dictates that more so that Draymond was in the wrong, they they're saying why didn't anybody like go check Draymond tell him to back off? Why didn't anybody just like you know this man can operate with in, in, impunity and just you know verbally attack people, uh, 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 accost people, um, disrespect people because he's Draymond Green, you know. Um, we already know about the history of what happened with him and KD. And, you know, Draymond, I would say on his part, he has to have enough sense and intelligence. It, it doesn't matter where you're from. It don't matter about you no know, uh, Saginaw, Michigan, and how we handle things and what we do. No, 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 no. You know, look, man, a lot of us, they all come from the hood. We all understand how dudes get down in the hood, the hood mentality and everything and how you got to respond to certain situations. To get, but, you know, a lot of guys, and this is what happens like in the, in, in the world of entertainment. You know, you see this like with sports. You see this um, um, in, uh, 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 in hip-hop and with the rappers. You know, guys keep trying to justify their actions and everything they're doing because they come from the hood. But you guys are sitting up here making millions of dollars this is not the hood. Um, you guys have a platform to perform and express yourself and do things, you know, where you can enjoy your actual job that you do to where it's not even a job. You paid a lot of money, but there's consequences if you sit up there and you don't act like or remember that what you're being provided is a privilege, not a right, but a privilege. You know, you know how many guys wish they had the skill of a lot of entertainers to be able to make millions of dollars, date beautiful women, have the the fanciest of clothes, drive expensive uh, sports cars and everything. And the average person has to go to work, do their nine to five, go sweat in some factory or drive all damn day, uh, come home dirty, um... They don't have any kind of damn assistance, uh, maids, or none of that shit to just make, um, you know, home life more easier and comfortable. They can't afford that. They have to actually work for every damn thing they want or trying to get or to make their lives as leisurable as possible. You know, work, like really like grunt work, like, like you know, manual labor. And so when people see you guys act out like that of course the media though i will say it is effed up how they you know they'll play off of the good and the bad just for stories but they know that if they take the incident of you uh doing things uh that makes it look based on perception that oh you guys are being prima donnas and not appreciating the privilege that you guys are being afforded they know that that average person is going to look at you as being spoiled and, you know, and everything. And everybody's going to look at you and stuff like that. So 
you have reporters or other media people uh, uh, that don't like you and they're just waiting for you to do something where they can take that story and spin it some kind of damn way. And Draymond said the way the video came out, you know, it looked bad. He said he's not going to get into what all actually ha happened because he's not trying to escape uh, blame and he's not trying to make an excuse. And I like that he did that. That was very intelligent because he could sit up there and be like, wait a minute, y'all don't know all what happened. Let me explain to y'all in detail everything. But, you know, I, I've always believed in uh, that kind of concept, like just like when you're in a relationship between a husband and wife, a boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, it's not everybody's business to know what hell, what the hell goes on in that relationship because that relationship just pertains to those two people. We can work it out. We can figure out what we need to do or whatever. Nobody needs their family members and friends coming in and telling them what the hell they should do because when we go to sleep at night you ain't in the bedroom with us you know what i'm saying when we get up in the morning and stuff and and and, and the kids need to be taken care of and fed you're not doing it when these bills need to be paid you're not paying them when it so how the hell should you have a right to a fucking opinion you know um and so it's that it's it's like the same thing pertains to the same thing. when you got a team that's why everybody says, you know, you're supposed to keep that stuff in house. That's why you see through the years players get mad and upset when other guys on the team go out there telling the media about what's going on with the team, uh, their relationship with the coaches, management. I don't like this. They did this to me. They didn't give me my money. You know, wait a minute. We could have just discussed it because when it gets out there and stuff for um, the public to kind of analyze this shit, and, you know, spew their damn opinions and thoughts on it and stuff. You know, we have a bottom line, which is money. You know? So, from a business standpoint, that's why that's not good to do that. You know? Because now, this is something we could have handled, got over, boom. Once it gets out there in the, in, the, in the public, social media, especially now, you know, they get that kind of stuff. We don't know how to. So, now, we got to look at how it's being spun then we have to figure out how to respond to it, um, how to downplay it. You know, it's like putting out fires. It's like like the firefighters going all through the state of California. Got about 80 fires. We, you know, hey, where we might have, if we if things are done right, contain these three, four, five fires right here. But since they weren't being able to be contained, they sprung out to like multiple fires. Now the situation is worse, sir. So it's similar in nature to that. So it's unfortunate, and they said that uh, that that uh, the Warriors organization is looking into who put that damn out that 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 video. So they was trying to suppress that. You know, they trying to figure out who put that video out there. That so, hey man, I don't know. Like the question kids ask, how the hell does TMZ be knowing about things? Uh, hell, they be knowing about. Things that have to do with crime.